So this is how it's gonna look like. This one isn't gonna be as dangerous. May not be my driver no more. Two guys saw that and they were getting ready to Apparently in this part of town, I have to be particularly careful because I can't tell if these people are happy the person died or what. What is up everyone? Thank you for watching Franco Travels. So my god, I've made it alive to yet another adventure. The last video that I just did on my other channel got so dangerous that I'm actually considering buying like a fake gun or something just as a deterrent in case I run into any other bandits because Jesus, I feel like it's getting more dangerous by the minute. I love it, love the adventure and the adrenaline rush, but I gotta be prepared when it comes to situations like that, which I wasn't. If those of you who haven't seen the last video that I posted on my other channel, as of now is like the last one, check it out because I almost got killed in that one. But now I've made it about an hour south from my current location where I usually live at and made it to a graveyard here where I could actually rent out at night and have it to myself. A lot of paranormal people come to this specific graveyard because apparently there's a lot of things that happen here as well as far as kids screaming shadows here and there things falling and moving which i'm curious to check out that being said let's check out this location as you can see it is a full bright sun but this is the beautiful graveyard that i have here as you can see it looks kind of somewhat empty and over here is where people kind of sell stuff flowers here and there this whole place has like these little tiny cramped rooms with tombstones which i love about and uh it just makes it that much more interesting look at this i don't know if this place is going to have a lot of witchcraft or desecrations because every time i think i'm going to see something like that it's the complete opposite so i'm just kind of going with it hope for the best and prepare for the worst at least this one isn't going to be as dangerous as my other content is. Oh, look at this. Now, for those of you guys wondering, uh, my driver from my other videos may not be may not be my driver no more. But my driver that I was hiring to take me from place to place was starting to overcharge me. But that's not even the big part of it. I was letting him get away with it because I'm like, you know what? I need someone that I can trust just so that way I could be able to keep making these videos. Well, things took a turn. And then one day he starts calling me in the middle of the night and he's like, I need money, I need money, I need money. He wanted like almost $250 just so I could give him because his car was impounded or not impounded, but went to the mechanic shop. And he says, well, I can't take you on adventures if you can't pay for my car to be out of the book. I'm like, I could just get another taxi. I don't have to have you have have to have you to, you know, take me anywhere. So after I told him, no, um, let me just pay you for the rides. He kept asking and begging and begging. This is not the first time this happens. This tends to happen wherever country you go to. So you have to be careful. Don't fall for anything. Save your money that's in your pocket because at any moment, you know, people could change. I have a new taxi driver now. I'm feeling him out, you know, as weird as that sounds, just to see how well or reliable he is. Oh, wow, look at this one. Why is that one black? What is the story on this? It's like they burnt it and melted it lit it on fire but what's weird is that they have plants of ornaments here i don't know if somebody that is buried in this tomb was hated or loved a red heart i'm trying to see if there's anything else no nothing seeing if there's anything on the floor oh that is weird by the way i'm recording and off camera one of the ladies approached me and she was like, you can't record if I see this on YouTube. Usually when somebody says that, that means somebody did something stupid here. I'm not sure what happened. I wonder if it has to do with that one tomb that was burnt into crisps. Wow, this place just goes on forever. Look at this. It's like a, a whole library of just tombs. So I've made it to the back of the cemetery here. Oh my God, it is so hot. I'm already soaking wet right now. 
I'm starting to stretch from here and then it goes from here and then it goes from, you know, zero and below. But I made it towards the back of the cemetery here and, and there sounds like there's a bunch of families over here, but the graves change too. It like turns into dirt, like a, like a little graveyard. But I want to check it out with you guys. Hopefully I don't pass out. This is that part of the graveyard I was telling you guys about. Oh, nice. Yeah, these people are just uh, listening to music. I don't want to turn the camera around because there's so many people just staring at me. Look at this. This reminds me of Nevada. Nevada had a whole bunch of little tombs like this. But for cowboys and western people that died by gunshots. Look at this. It looks like a young teen that passed away. What's her name? Viviras por siempre. No, that's not her name. I think that's her dad. One of them is her dad and her uncle, maybe. Jennifer Juana y la Topa Muñoz. She must have died super early. Usually when you see tombs like this, where it's a young person that's fully decked out, they died completely unexpected. I can't tell if these people are happy the person died or what. Those are the people that I kind of passed by earlier. <laughs> Just people dancing. No one's going to know that I did it. I poisoned the tacos. No, let me stop. <laughs> I've now made it to where it looks like more construction. But this is actually where you would find witchcraft. If there is any, this is where you would find it. It'll be back here. But so far, it looks pretty clean. So I think I've seen about the majority of this graveyard that I wanted to explore. There's really not much else going on here. It's just tombs after tombs. And the sun is just pounding on me. Like I'm already soaked, but anymore I'm gonna start getting burnt. Then I'm gonna have a problem sleeping at night. But let me see if I can make my way back to the taxi. I don't really want him to know I'm recording because I, the point, I don't want people knowing too much of what I do because I'll pull scummy stuff like this. I'm not saying he's would do the same thing, but I just gotta be careful. But I'll try to record a little bit in the car so you guys get to see. Let's go to the taxi and let's see if we could go look at some fake guns, see what I can get. So my taxi guy is right up there in the front. This is the town. This wall here is where the graveyard is, where I just came out of. Caballero, you can see the people who are in the car, and the Pero si tú no eres, ellos se meten en la cortina. O sea, ellos usan el factor sorpresa. Sí. Ah, sí, 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 exacto. O sea, so basically what he's saying is that he was driving in the car and there was two guys that were on the right hand side of the car and they were just when they're loitering around, most likely they're they're, they're bandits or whatever. So he was coming in and there was two people that was taking his passengers and they had their phones out and the two guys saw that and they were getting ready to snatch their phones out of their hands. But because he was paying attention, he told him, put your phones away, put everything away, so that way they don't get stolen or robbed or anything. So I've made it to the place. We just finally got up here. It took like an hour of driving. This is the store here. Venta de armas, mocinados y articulos tácticos. And they're closed. So now, that sucks. No pistola for me. I was hoping I could get one. Okay, so I just found another location where I might be able to get a gun. Hopefully I'm right. Just not too sure where I'll be able to get it. Let's see, let's hopefully that this guy doesn't give me any crap. I do see guns in the back wall there. Jesus, is anything open? Holy crap, it's everything I try to find here is always closed. 
So at this point, I'm kind of in a conflict because I drove all the way to a dangerous part of town too, all the way from the other side of Lima, just to get to these gun stores and they're all closed. But what sucks is that online, they're all saying that they're completely open. And apparently in this part of town, I have to be particularly careful because here there's a lot of morochotos. They'll just run up to you and try to take your stuff. But I don't know, it's kind of early in the day. The time right now is 3.14. It's like a Florida mall. I do gotta keep my eyes open. They got toys, but no toy guns. I don't even care how fake or real it looks, I just need one just so I could scare off someone. So one thing for sure is that this whole area just looks like a gigantic printing company. There's uh, toys for kids, some candies. You could even get customized hats. I might see if I try to get a, a customized Franco TV hat. Because the other one got ruined because I sweat so much. Okay, so the location I just checked with is also closed. Everything is closed. There is one more place that I know of. It just hit me right off the back. And that is a friend of mine that works at a store named Patreon. And he doesn't sell guns, but he does sell gas spray or gas spray menthol. I don't know what happened to the ones that I used to have. I usually give them away when I leave a country or go to a different country. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, he probably has some at the shop. And hopefully he's open because everyone else is closed. Okay, so hopefully this guy is open now. Thank God, I think he is open. Shout out to the new taxi guy. This guy was amazing. He charged me a lot less. The other guy was taking a lot more. Let's say hi to our friend. <laughs> ¿Qué tal, amigo? Bien? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás, ah, cansado. I definitely got to do a shout out. Patriot Tactical. That's their number here. They use WhatsApp. So just call this number. You can check them out on Facebook here. And this is like, if you're ever in the Peru area, do check them out. Say hi to my friend here. He's awesome. And yeah, I usually, you know, I always come here. They always save me whenever I need anything tactical. That's anything. So this is how it's gonna look like. But again, I only want them to see this part. When I have it inside my pants, only this part will show. YouTube, this is fake. It isn't real, just plastic. Doesn't even, trigger don't even work. Okay, just saying. But yeah, I just want them to see this part. Like if it's dashed, they only see that part right here. I think this should work. Most of you are like, why don't you get a real one? Because I'll get arrested and probably sent to jail. Let's try to see if I can get like a concealed holster for it. But he's got some new stuff too at the same time I love this kind of stuff but yeah I like it okay yo voy a comprar esto what's up guys so I'm now back at the house a little bit after that last part of the video I ended up getting a migraine I was super hungry and then I just ended up passing out in the taxi ride back home um, I couldn't even pick up the camera. I was so tired out of it. It just ended up hitting me out of nowhere. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have my plastic gun of justice. Um, hopefully I'll be taking that with me on my adventures and maybe it works as a deterrent and hopefully it doesn't end up getting me shot. I'm just not even gonna pull it out. I'm just maybe it's just seeing the imprint alone should do the trick. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching Franco Travels. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna probably get some rest and then continue editing. But till then, I will see you guys in the next glorious adventures of pure justice and success. Bye guys. Yeah.